Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Doctor Who video. Now I, I'm picking up on a video, I think I, I, I checked this and I last did in January 2019. So, well, I mean, we've been waiting forever for this anyway, but the last time I gave you guys an update on this was January 2019. Um, and so I thought, you know, it's about time I at least um, try and find some new things to say and give some new optimism about the possibility of a Doctor Who Series 10 soundtrack. Now guys, just quickly, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button for lots of um, Doctor Who news videos, lots of soundtrack videos, if that's your thing, please do subscribe for that because there's going to be lots of that coming up in the past and in the future. Um, and of course, follow me on Twitter at EMS underscore productions. But yes, let's get straight into a brand new video. So yes, it's been a long old time since I last talked about this, as I say. I mean, it's been four and a half years since the since Series 10 aired and finished with Doctor the Doctor Falls and I guess twice upon a time as well that was you know over four years ago now and we are still sitting in this sort of limbo phase where we don't really know what's going to happen we obviously I, I originally kind of started this series of videos with this where is the series 9 soundtrack because that took a very long time to be released um the series series 9 obviously aired in uh the autumn of 2015 and then we finally got a soundtrack release for series 9 around april or may 2018 so it was about two and a half years the gap between that and i guess if you would you know apply that to um series 10 that puts you at the beginning of 2020 now Obviously, other things happened in 2020, which maybe could have caused problems there. But um, obviously, we're sitting here four years on from the series, four and a half years on from the series, and we still don't have a Series 10 soundtrack. So is there really any optimism that it's ever going to happen? Well, there's a few different things I can offer to try and give a little bit more optimism about it. Um, I, I've got a personal anecdote that I'll come to in a minute, but I guess the first thing we can take a small amount of optimism from is, I, I'll be this was quite a long time ago now, a couple of years ago, was the, um, I think during lockdown, I think Murray Gold put out a rare tweet, because he has a Twitter account and seems to log into it about once every six or seven years, and said, you know, something about time, you know, good things come to those who awake kind of vibes was the sort of tweet, you know, hinting that maybe in the future something good would come if we keep waiting, and in, in a response to somebody asking about the Series 10 soundtrack, I believe, so... I think at least Murray has some awareness that it hasn't been released and maybe that's something that, that, that could be done at some point in the future. So that was our first little bit of optimism. Now, of course, there's also the current rumours that Murray Gold may well be returning for Russell T Davies 2. Um, and I think if he does, that certainly gives more possibilities for a Series 10 soundtrack to be released because if he's back actively involved in Doctor Who, maybe he'll be, you know, more inclined to want to go back and kind of tidy that up. You know, who, you know, probably wants a bit of money from it as well. It wouldn't be, you know, I'm sure lots of us would buy it. So he'd make some money off it if he did it. Um, so I guess that's also a possibility that, um, you know, his involvement back in Doctor Who more so. If that does happen, I I'm not sure if I want that to happen, but if that does happen, then I think that could also give more possibilities that he could end up um, releasing a Series 10 soundtrack. He cle clearly still cares about the show because we also saw back in the lockdown days as well with um, Lockdown Who, um, the, all the rewatches and, and the little sort of adventures that were you know written by various um, sort of writers of Doctor Who and stuff. I think the Russell T Davies one he did with um, relating to sort of Sarah Jane and the likes, that was had some music composed by Murray Gold. It might have been that one, it might have been a different one, but definitely Murray Gold composed some music for one of those Doctor Who shorts that were produced during the lockdown period as well. So we're going to showing he still had a connection, still had an interest in Doctor Who, that it wasn't like he was completely gone away from it and, and didn't really want to be involved anymore. So, you know, there's just another sense that as much as he hasn't released it yet, there's still always a possibility. My sort of personal anecdote, and probably the most interesting thing I can probably give you, um, which is something I don't think I've ever spoken about on the channel before, but, you know, here we go, why not? Um, and frankly, it's you know, it's it's from a little while ago, so I guess it doesn't really lend, lend that much weight anymore. But essentially, a chap called Jake Jackson, who was the score mixer um, on Doctor Who from Series 3 to Series 10, so most of the Murray Gold era of composing Doctor Who music, um, he was working alongside Murray Gold in, you know, mixing all the scores as they were recorded and getting the music ready to be added onto the episodes in post-production, essentially was his sort of role. And he came, I, I, if you don't know, I'm a music, I'm a music tech student, audio production and music tech student. Um, and he came, he came to do a talk and, you know, do a practical workshop at my university. Now I'm obviously aware, I'm a Doctor Who fan and I'm aware, oh, this guy worked on Doctor Who for 10 years. I'd better ask him some questions. So I did grab him at the end of our talk and go, hey, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. It was kind of awkward, you know, it's, it's always a bit of a weird one, particularly with somebody who probably, you know, they don't want to just be defined and famous for Doctor Who. And it's a bit of an awkward one to go, hello, I am a Doctor Who fan. And I want to ask you about Doctor Who stuff. Um, but I did have like a three minute, four minute conversation with him about Doctor Who, um, about his work on it. He, you know, he said he he 
was obviously involved in it for a very long time. He said he loved working on it and, you know, it had a, it was a big, you know, part of his career. He spent 10 years near enough working on it. So it was a really significant thing for him. Um, and I know that he, I think a lot of it, he always talked about how it happened very quickly. Um, you know, Murray would write scores in five days for episodes. It was like a ridiculously short sort of time that they had to work on a lot of this and, and all of that. So some interesting insight there. And, you know, I, I, I did do ask the question. I said, I, I'm pretty sure that the, um, the, the last series you worked on, series 10, I don't think that ever actually got a soundtrack release. And he was like, oh, oh really? I didn't know. Didn't really, didn't really know that he seemed to be a little bit unsure about it and um he was telling me that he was going to be going to see murray gold um a few weeks later because murray lives obviously in america and, and jake jackson lives in the uk um and he said he was going to go be seeing him a few weeks later and that he would um, mention it to, to murray he'd, he'd remind murray that it hadn't hadn't happened yet in case he'd forgotten about it or something and so i felt like i'd done my duty as a as a fan of, of doctor soundtracks by basically asking some guy can you go tell murray gold about this please um now unfortunately this was i believe october or november 2019 so yes i'm, a, I'm sorry this is like two years old news but i was kind of unsure whether i should ever really share it i'm like whatever it's fine um so yeah obviously then covid hit so i don't know if he ever actually made it over to america to see murray and talk to him about it but i certainly made this guy aware who probably would have been involved in producing the soundtracks as well um jake jackson that there's a soundtrack that's missing here that we could really we, we fans would really love a release of like we'd loved all these soundtracks and we'd really like to hear this one so yeah i just felt like i did my bit i did my duty i did the best i could and so at least someone involved in it no, I, I told them. If they don't remember, they don't remember now. I don't know. But I told them that the Series 10 soundtrack has not been released and we'd really like it. Um, and so, you know, I've tried my best and I, I I still try and hold out some optimism that it might happen in the future. I definitely say I have a lot less optimism than I did three years ago when I last did one of these videos. Um, you know, it's just been such a long time now and I, I, you do start, sort of become less, more and more doubtful that it really would ever happen. But um, as I say, particularly if Murray does come back for RTD, RTD2, maybe that will give more opportunity for it. Um, unfortunately, you know, maybe it will just forever be the one missing soundtrack. I mean, maybe at some point Mark Ayers will get hold of, you know, some Doctor Who music and be able to produce a soundtrack off the back of Murray. Uh, I don't know. I think we're just going to have to wait and see on that. I'd love to give you guys more positivity and say, yeah, it's definitely going to happen. Um, but, you know, I think... There's, there's still some optimism there and I know there's people who want it. We, we fans want it. Um, and I guess we've just got to try and never lose complete faith that it could happen. You know, when you never know. It's, it's always a possibility, even if it's been a very long time now. But yes, guys, I hope that's given you some sort of information or insight into into a possible future Series 10 soundtrack release, albeit it's not, it doesn't look that likely at the moment, but you never know, things could change in the future. The people know about it, we just need them to actually do it. Um, and you know, we'll have to just wait and see on that, I think. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on all of this. What, what sort of music are you most missing from Series 10 that you'd like to be able to hear a clean, proper soundtrack release of? Is there one piece of music you got? I just want to be able to listen to that on repeat properly. Um, let me know down in the comments below. But that's just about it from this video, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button, and I will see you again very soon for a brand new video. But until then, it's goodbye.